One type of insulation material is cellulose fibre, made from recycled paper. It's derived from a natural source, wood fibre, so it's non-polluting. It contains no asbestos, no fibreglass and no formaldehyde. Insulation keeps your home warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Like other insulation materials, cellulose fibre has to meet strict government safety standards. One fire safety test assesses smoulder resistance. A sample from the production line is weighed and then a lit cigarette is inserted into it. Once the cigarette burns out, after about an hour, the sample is weighed again. The weight loss must be less than 15%. Making cellulose insulation begins with recycled paper, delivered in bulk. It's loaded by hand onto a conveyor belt. And from that point on, the entire process is automated. The paper goes into a machine called the primary mixer. It separates the bunched up pieces, preparing them for shredding. The machine's powerful magnet removes staples, paper clips and other pieces of metal. From there, the paper goes into a shredder, which rips it into pieces about 5 centimetres long. The shredded paper is mixed with boric acid, a natural compound that acts as a fire retardant. It also makes the insulation pest resistant and it helps fend off mould, wood decay and corrosion. Now a machine called a fibreizer shreds the paper into tiny pieces about 4 mm long and it mixes them with more boric acid. From the time the recycled paper arrives by truck to the time it comes off the line as cellulose fibre insulation, only about five minutes have passed. The insulation doesn't leave the factory before undergoing thorough safety testing. This test assesses what's called open flammability. The insulation is heated to 50 degrees Celsius to stimulate the temperature of a roof in the hot sun. Then it's ignited. The flame travels but then dies out, thanks to the boric acid. If that happens within a certain distance, the insulation is safe. Outside research firms also test the product for safety, to verify the results of the company's tests. The automated packaging equipment blows 11.3 kilograms of insulation into a bag, whilst at the same time compressing the fibre into a block. Some types of thermal insulation come as thick rectangular blankets known as bats. These will be installed by hand, fitting snugly between the wall studs. Cellulose fibre doesn't come in bats, it's known as loose fill insulation. A professional installer has to inject it in between the walls by spraying it in under pressure. It fills all the spaces without any gaps something that's hard to do with pre-shaped bats. Insulating performance is referred to as R-value. The higher the R-value, the more effective the insulation. Cellulose fibre insulation has a higher R-value than loose fill mineral fibre insulation and a similar R-value to loose fill fibreglass. Cellulose fibre is denser than other materials, so it resists air movement better, making it less likely to move out of place after installation. And it saves money on your heating bills.